How's it going everyone? My name is Nick, aka Nicky Bobby. Today we are looking at a new track. Ooh, scary. Not just any new track, it is a Shady Records debut from Filipino-American rapper Ezra Miller. Sorry, I meant Ez Mill. Totally different, dude. A Filipino rapper, so you know he's been kicking the shit all day. He's a farmer rapper, so you know he's been kicking the shit all day! This track also features a guest appearance from none other than Eminem. To clarify, Eminem is in my top three favorite MCs of all time. It goes Eminem, Tech 9 MF Doom. I'm a big fan of Eminem's early work, and the Marshall Mathers LP is one of my favorite albums of all time. I've been critical of his recent work, but Eminem does release some good songs every now and then. So Esmil is the new guy that Eminem signed to his record label. Eminem also recently signed Conway the Machine, who is amazing by the way. So if Eminem signed this guy, then he's got to be great, right? Then we shall see. We are taking a look at this new track, it's called Realist. And I don't know why, I kind of want to laugh when I read the title. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is the instrumental. It's a pretty decent beat, but it's a little basic to me. It just sort of lacks personality, but the kick and snare sound great. Man, I think he is Ezra Miller, because he is flashy with the flow. Oh, for real, but I really do like his flow, and he does have pretty good rhythm articulation. He definitely knows how to rhyme, he has good rhyme schemes, but so far I feel like he hasn't really said anything to me with his rhymes, if that makes sense. I don't know, let's keep going and see if we find something. So let's talk about this chorus. I can definitely see how they're trying to make it catchy, but overall I just feel like it's kind of a mouthful. Again, Esmil has pretty good rhymes, but uh, I just feel like he's not saying anything so far. You can't just say you're the realist in this business without convincing me why. I don't know, maybe there's something I'm missing. Let's just keep going with this. It's a pretty cool beat, I'll give it that. So yeah, that flow in that little bit there was pretty impressive, but I tend to gravitate towards rappers with good rhymes and a good message. And then you can sell me on the flow afterwards, like a rapper, say, Tech 9 That dude is just a grandmaster of flow. The instrumental has a good atmosphere. Oh, Eminem. So Eminem drops the line that just because he's white, he's in everyone's top five. But also, because he's white, he's not number one. In my humble opinion, the reason why Eminem is not my number one is just because I've heard two people rap better than him. I think Eminem and Tech 9 are pretty equal when it comes to rhyme schemes and all that, but Tech 9 definitely has a better flow. But I think MF Doom would just crush them both with the rhymes. Okay, that was a pretty good line. The only reason why they play your shit in the club is because you perform in them. Damn, man, I mean, Eminem always brings it with the rhymes, and he's always usually pretty witty as well. Yeah, the, the beat just changes there. So the beat just did a switch, and honestly, I kind of love the way this other half of the instrumental sounds. It just got way more dark sounding, and it has this like brooding tension about it. So Eminem calls out Gen Z and saying how they all act like rap experts. 
I can see where Eminem is coming from, but I think he's just talking about the people that exclusively listen to the popular trap sound. See, I'm not one of those people. I tend to like the stuff from 90s hip hop. That tends to be the route that I listen to in my free time. <laughs> so Eminem also says that Gen Z should just do what they're best at doing, like shooting up schools and shit. It's like, whoa, dude. I think he's mad. I think we actually pissed him off a bit. I mean, I didn't piss him off. I didn't do shit, but you guys did. Back to the chorus. <laughs> oh, so he's not that mad after all. So final thoughts, I thought this track was alright. There was some pretty cool rapping to be heard, but I just feel like they weren't really saying anything. I mean, Eminem was definitely saying more shit than Esmail, but that's to be expected. Well anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Do you like this song? Do you not? Nah, I won't care. Just let me know what you think. Thank you guys. Oh shit. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys later.